from 19, 1980 what? 85. Meeting you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll uh, send you more information that I totally. put out on the thing. Hey, man, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to hold you guys up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So have fun. Have fun. Safe drive back. Thanks again. Okay, it, so. It looks compared to everything else here. You get normal car, normal car, normal car, this. I bought it. <laughs> seat doesn't really adjust because there's no room for it to go. Okay. Thanks for... Now, does this four-wheel drive do anything? It works. Oh, it does. Okay, okay so... Um, we won't deal with it now. We'll... So when you're starting it, give it a few pumps. While you're starting it? Yeah, while you're starting it. While it's turning over. Okay. That's... I think that might be first. That's... The gears are like... Yeah. <laughs> all of the place. Like one, two, two three, three, four. Is and there just four? Just four. Just four. And then reverse is way over here. So there's and like it's trying the, to punch uh, me in the leg. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Fun fact, this is actually a bell in here. And there's a little thing that takes out and it hooks it. Yeah, nice. I, you can see it. So I, put it all, I put all the panels back in, but yeah. back here there's a little bell. Oh, that's adorable. There you go. There you go. Seven. It's gonna say your rear door's ajar. Okay, this I'm pressing the brake down and it's going right to the floor. Uh, the booster's out, but the brakes work. You just gotta go. They work fine. There's no, they don't lock up. Really? Yeah. Just give yourself a little bit of gap, but the, the gearing winds itself down just fine. So use, use your downshifts. Okay, so treat it like a small displacement motorcycle. Pretty, yeah, it's a small oh. displacement. All right, well, there are the... Wow, that's... It's <laughs> down there. <laughs> yeah, it, whoa. Jesus. You, you can let it start to catch on the clutch on the way out. I'm going to do it this way. The clutch uh, engages like a more expensive vehicle. Like it's not way down low, it's okay. a little high. Think of like a Japanese performance car. There you go. It takes some getting used to, trust me. There's a car coming. Yeah, the pads are brand new and I just flushed all the fluids and whatnot. It's just the brake booster is not working. Yeah, I replaced it. Uh -huh. But I think the reman was bad. You gotta really wrench on it. Yep. Oh, clonk. Uh, it's saying rear doors or right doors open? No, it's it's because it's out of a wagon. It's out of a Subaru wagon. So uh -huh. I couldn't find a dashboard that wasn't a mess. Okay. All, the All right, coming to a stop. Wow. Okay, you were right about not. It's definitely something to get used to. All right, so treat it a little bit like a tractor. You you have brakes if you need them, but all the brakes, every stop is going to be an emergency with this. Oh, uh, it just requires some attention. <laughs> yeah. You get used to it to the point where they don't even, like you don't think about it anymore. Okay, so coming to a stop here. Using my first, well, it's not taking first. It's too fast. Two is still too fast for first. Yeah, and then you're you right. You just gotta be like I, super. I got, I'm driving a box truck Pretty much, actually, with a heavy yeah. load. And stop, still no first. Coming to a stop. Yeah, you really gotta be creeping for first to wanna go in. Okay. Is this tachometer accurate? Yep. Okay. And I really wanna do a brat. Um, you forgive me if the brat that I will find, I will find one, but it'll be one with the seats in the rear. And to try to find one, oh, almost, ew, is that a control arm? No, control arms are new. That is the, um, the strut tower. Oh. It has a groove for it to sit in. Yeah. So then when you're, when the center of the strut hits it, it just yeah. clicks on it. Ah. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. I've been in contact with many Australians, <laughs> and they say that they're just doing too. So one point eight. Uh, it's the motor that Subaru put in everything from the early '70s right up until they replaced it with the EJ and the okay. Legacies and all that. The person who had it before me put this enormous Weber carburetor that dumps <laughs> way too much fuel into the motor. So if you do, if you floor it below two thousand, it'll yeah. just die. Oh. Um, 
I recently just put the AC belt back on there and uh -huh. the AC doesn't work. Oh. And what he did do that I like is the manifold had coolant line lines that ran through them. Yeah. Just to cool the entire motor down. That is a tiny block. It's just there and there, just and then there. you have all this space back yeah. here for your spare tire. Or, yeah, or the air system that you had for the air struts that didn't work. Air, really? Air suspension they wanted yeah, to put on this? Well, the kid that had it before hit. Oh. Put the air suspension in. But yeah, I mean, he, he eliminated the coolant lines that run through the manifold. So uh -huh. your manifold doesn't heat sink. So you keep all 86 of your horsepower. Oh, But okay. now I have that oil cooler because it was overheating. Mm -hmm. So this nice kid friendly yeah. oil cooler just keeps everything nice and chill. Nice. It never overheats anymore. And oh, that's good. Runs like a top, fires right up, no problems. The wheels, where'd Those, they come from? They came with the vehicle. Okay. I am not the biggest fan of stretch tires. Right. Nor was I a fan of the air struts. As you can see, they dug into the, yeah. the fender. So I put it on some Honda <laughs> <laughs> springs because they fit. Yeah. And I just raised it up. Mm. Adjustable coilovers. Nice. But I don't like the stance. I don't like the camber. Yeah. I the color like is nice. <laughs> the three tone. Yeah. Well, it sort of matches the front. I like this color. I like the red. Yeah. Can we climb in the back? You can do whatever you want in the back. I mean, is it just one big handle right yeah. here? Just push up. Oh. Man. Now, those, this is where the... The bracket was, yes. Yeah. Down here. And they just saws, sawed it out. Yep. Now, as I understand it, they, the reason they had the the seats in the back was to get around some sort of import Chicken law. tax. The, the seats made it a passenger vehicle, mm. and then there's no tax. Ah. So Subaru, Subaru came in with this, and I don't really understand what service, or like what purpose it served. It is a nice mini truck. I mean, Ronald Reagan had He did? He, he had, had a Brat? Ranch. Nice. And they, uh, well, it's, a, it's very, it's a very low loading deck. I mean, I know the car's been lowered, yeah. but it's Actually, a very. Actually, that's stock. Oh, really? That's stock. The front's height. been raised, so I don't hit everything. Huh. But like yeah, that. it's it's a perfect size. It's it's a wonderful truck if you have to do a lot of city work. Yeah. Because this is great for a town. And honestly, even though it's carbureted and yeah, it runs a little bit rich. I get. Okay, four wheel drive is. Okay, so clutch in. Yeah. Just pull up once. Yeah. And that's, now you're in, you're in all that's four wheel drive. You can go as fast as you want. And four wheel drive, drive low, low has a max of about thirty. Okay. That's for getting yourself out. <laughs> Clunk. That is real nice. Yeah. And it still works it's beautifully. Okay. Let's try a little bit. And now does it is it normally front wheel drive? Yep. Okay. It's the, uh, the window roller. <laughs> window roller. There's that. Uh, this will be an interesting <laughs> GOV drive. <laughs> yeah, my phone's ringing, but I'm driving right now. Yeah, this is uh This is this not is... an answer the phone type car. It's just a food Old right Main now. Street. Yeah, it is. I mean. Fix these brakes, and then you'd have something that, yeah, that that that's your first thing, new master cylinder or new new brake booster. Yeah, that's a very weird feeling. That feeling that pedal fly to the floor, and at the very last second, you get this little thing, this little uh, this little wet noodle grip brace in the front wheels. But I can understand that they're uh, you can do this in traffic. You just have to think ten steps ahead. Yes. You have to plan your traffic. You have to plan your your uh, traffic lights, and uh, you got your e-brake there if you need it. Yeah. Okay, I think okay, I'm coming back to the hotel now. It shouldn't pop or anything around this corner. Let's see, it's fine. I don't. Yeah. I don't understand what about low speeds makes it want to make that noise. All right. Now I can make. A left, I think, and get into that parking lot, or maybe I can't. This, this car will make you a better driver. Yes, it will. 
because you have to plan for your own mistakes as well as plan for everybody, everybody else's mistakes. Everybody else's Floridian mistakes. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I drove a car on this road trip that would make you a worse driver. Well, two ones that would make you a worse driver. One for the uh, the uh, uh, social uh, consequences of the car and another one for the construction of the car, which I'll show you when we go up. Okay. I'm, I'm curious. Yeah. The, uh, this would be, yeah, this, this would make this a, be, this is a very good beach car. This right, what be you said vehicle. before, on the beach, yeah. This would be the vehicle that you give to your just newly licensed child. Yeah. Because they will be too afraid <laughs> to drive recklessly. <laughs> yeah. When I answer the phone. Yep. Make sure the brakes work. I wouldn't give this to my son if I yeah. had one with brakes like that, but. This is, oh, time to drive. Conversation stops. Driving. Focus. Focus. 